Who day, baby? The Cincinnati Bengals have beat the Titans, and we're on to face the Chiefs again. And we're going to talk about it in this episode. Let's get it. Let's go! Hey man, what's going on? This is Split Scripts represent from Cincinnati, giving you my thoughts on the Bengals victory over the Tennessee Titans. I want to first off start off by giving props to the defense. Defense balled out. Had it not been for the defense, you know, things would have been a little hairy. But I want to give props first off to DJ Reader. DJ Reader was shutting down Derrick Henry. And man was in on every play. The announcers was even talking about him. I think somebody else in the neighborhood is going to name their newborn kid after DJ Reader after that. You know what I'm saying? He was balling out. Derrick Henry had nothing, no kind of answer for that. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for that, Mr. Reader. I want to give props, a uh, shout out to uh, Jesse Bates. First play on the defense, man. A pick, uh, Ryan Tannehill. It was monstrous, man. That, that kind of that kind of eased the whole show because everybody, I know everybody was kind of tight over uh, when they hand off to Derrick Henry. What's going to happen? What's going to be the outcome? We were so down on defensive line, and you know we had to pick up somebody. And that pickup from uh, Arizona, I believe, was a big time pickup. That young man actually uh, he represented himself too. Uh, we had excellent play from Mr. Hilton. Mr. Hilton with a big time interception. Uh, shut down a drive that was going on its way uh, to do some damage. I uh, want to give mad props. That was beautiful, man. That was that was beautiful. Uh, big time interception, man. But you you can't you can't be getting hogged down by the quarterback. But I'm not gonna hate. You know what I'm saying? You you do what you got to do to make sure that we keep the ball. You took it, keep it, hold it down, man. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Also, want to give props out to uh, Logan Wilson. Uh, he was out there sticking people, man, knocking people's heads off, man. Hearing the, the pads pop, it was a beautiful thing. And he came through with the big-time interception with 23 seconds left in the game to go ahead and more or less get us in, you know, let Joe get us in position to seal the deal and uh, kick that big-time uh, field goal at the end of the game, you know. That's how that's how you draw it up. That's how you plan it, man. A lot of times it's just a matter of just doing and executing and these guys executed. It was a beautiful thing to see. Overall, the defense was great. Um, wasn't too pleased with uh, A.J. Brown getting uh, 142 yards receiving. Um, that's a lot of receiving yards. I mean, they still managed to put forth some yards on uh, on the defense. That he actually got the touchdown pass. I mean, that was a beautifully dropped down by Tannehill. I mean, you couldn't do it any better. Uh, nobody in this world would have figured he would have dropped that in there like that. Uh, double, double two, man. You know, don't sweat it. Just keep your head up, man. You've been balling out. Uh, pro football uh, has been telling you about that. You, you one of the highest. You're the second highest ranked cornerback in the league. So I mean, just keep doing what you do, partner. And again, with the run game, I can't say enough. Uh, they pretty much locked down Derrick Henry. They did let um, let him get out. I think as long as yard, longest game was for nine yards. Uh, his backup, he actually he he had a big time run, and uh, fortunately he he got he got somebody made the uh, the score saving tackle. But uh, that was pretty much it as far as the run game was concerned. And, that's all you can ask for is to shut down the run and do a pretty good job overall on the pass. And be there and contend passes and do your thing. On offense, uh, Joe Mixon got busy. Uh, it wasn't all sexy like you, you know, you want sexy, beautiful, and all that. You no, know, he had the, he got the hard yardage. He went up against the defensive front that was out there looking to get him. Um, he got the touchdown. He he managed to uh, make some catches in the game. Uh, to move everything along. Uh, you had uh, Chase with 109 yards receiving on five catches. 
Uh, he didn't get a touchdown, but you know, that doesn't matter. We don't need everything all the time right now. We just need what we can get and keep doing what we do. T. Higgins had a very nice game. He had 96 yards. I know uh, pretty much for a little bit, he was kind of missing, uh, missing in action. Uh, the last game had some drops. Uh, this time he kind of, uh, he, he kind of showed out a little bit. 96 yards, 96 tough contested yards. That's all you can ask for. Um, you know, they they got problems, man. We got too many weapons. CJ Uzama, 71 yards. We got weapons, and weapons kill. And we're looking to kill everybody in the NFL. I'm just trying to tell you. Then, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to the toe, the foot, the leg, however you want to call him. Money Mac, Mac Money, Mac the Mac, Mac, Mac killing them, breaking their back. Mac with the back breaking field goals that stops everything, that steals people's souls, you know, whatever. It's a beautiful thing. You know, that man is the best fifth round pick that you could ever get. Uh, we needed a kicker, we got a kicker. And the kicker is, the kicker has been winning games for us. And yeah, we've been doing it. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Then you want to get back down to uh, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's been the man. Uh, he got sacked nine times and hit a numerous amount of other times. That's too many times to have people putting their hands on your quarterback. Uh, there's there's no excuse for that. We can't have that. And uh, if we want to progress any further, we need to further protect uh, Joe Burrow. That man's a monster. That's a tough-ass guy. Um, apologize for my cussing, but if you don't like it, that's tough. I cuss a lot. That's part of my vocabulary. But I've been keeping it, you know, straight for uh, you all to check out, you know, in this uh, in this podcast. Um, coaching, coaching's been great. There's a lot of people that was down on uh, Zach from the get go. Um, he had a tough act to follow, uh, even though we were like in a hole and we was in the drought for the playoffs and winning six games in a couple of seasons did not help out. That just brought out the boo birds and that brought out the people that love to hate. And apparently, sometimes we have a lot of people that love to hate um, in our fan base, but that's not an overall assessment of our whole fan base as a whole. We got a lot of good people, man. I love you all. This concludes my segment. I appreciate you all listening to me. My name's Flip Scripts, represent from Cincinnati. I'm going to go ahead and get you back to uh, the, the, the man, the myth, the legend. DJ Jackson, uh, thank you all. And who they? Let's do it. Let's bring home another victory. That's what we want. That's what we're going to get. Get what you asked for. Who they? Thanks, Flip Scripts from Cincinnati. It's your host, DJ Jackson. Let's talk about the Titans game. To me, personally, I felt like we came out on fire. I'm glad we didn't come out flat. I noticed that when we're the underdog, we do come out pretty hype. And when we're supposed to win, we come out pretty flat for some reason. But the defense was on fire. The offense was moving, but it wasn't capitalizing. I mean, Joe still had 340 yards or something. I mean, that's ridiculous. After being sacked nine times, still be able to produce that many numbers. Still get up. Still keep fighting and grinding. We got Money Mac, Shooter, Shooter McPherson, hitting them clutch field goals. He had like four field goals and the game winner. I did notice one thing about the game, though, was kind of weird. Was like in the third quarter after the Bengals drove on the first drive and you had the Titans had the ball. It was like nine minutes or something. I noticed the clock was dwindling down like... 9.58, 9.57, 9.56, 9.52. Like, what? Yeah, there was some little clock ticking over there, and I was just confused. We came out the second half. Chase was on fire, man. He was clutch. He had the game... You know, that 15, 19 yard pass play after the interception, that was clutch. We definitely need to get Jamar Chase some awesome screens, man. Because that, when that guy's got the ball in his hand, he's, he's not the right 
He is so strong. That's the one of the biggest thing that people don't understand. Like, he's super fast and he's super strong. So when he got the ball in his hand, he's hard to tackle. So we need to get that boy some more screens. You see, man, he almost broke another one for a touchdown. That dude went and dove and tripped up the, uh, the blocker. He, that would have been definitely a touchdown right there. Did you guys see that Zach Taylor called a timeout? Right when uh, Logan Wilson uh, intercepted the ball? And if we would have caught that timeout, woo, that would have messed us up. I don't know if we would have probably been in the field goal range. But we got that interception. We got that out route. And then the game went in. Shooter McPherson, game-winning field goal. I'm glad the Bengals didn't get that timeout because, woo, I thought we was about to get beat by Fat Randy. Remember Fat Randy used to play for us and blow them games. I thought he was going to seal the game on us. Another one of those weird takes was when the Titans had the ball, they were, like, only at the 40. The time was, like, two minutes, and they wouldn't call no timeouts. They were on 40 on the other side, like, like there was no rush, like, you gotta get to the other side of the field and kick a field goal, and they were just taking a little sweet time, like, I mean, when they threw the interception, I mean, it was what, 15, 18, 20 seconds left in the game, like, you're playing it real close. On a side note, that was the first second round playoff victory since 1988. I mean, they're breaking all kinds of records. They have no fear. This is a solid group, and they're all super young. So I can't even imagine what kind of free agents we're going to get. This is going to attract a lot of free agents because they're going to want to play with someone like Burrow and Chase um, because they're giving them a chance to win, you know, make some more money, win playoff games win Super Bowls, so I can't wait. So we need to sign the uh, Jamar Chase and Burrow 10-year contract. Make sure you sign Bates. Hopefully we can get Boyd back, you know what I'm saying, and add some more free agents. We got a lot of free agent cap coming up after this season. So hopefully we can get some premier guys. Definitely solid linemen would be great in the free agency. Kansas City Chiefs, though. We already beat them, barely. And as you see in our game, when we won, we held the ball for the last three minutes. Now you see why. Because Kansas City came back with, what, like 18 seconds left? That's, you know, you go in that prevent defense, he's going to light you up at the end of the game. He's going to throw a little seam route or something, and the guy's going to run down there get about 20 30 yards so my keys to the game with the Kansas City Chiefs is you know you're gonna have to strike fast to kill the crowd noise that's the first of all you know you gotta do a big play like we did last time get the crowd quiet because they're a loud crowd even louder than the Titans second you gotta win the game in the trenches you know giving up nine sacks against them might not get so lucky we need to pre apply pressure with Hendricks. Hopefully that the, the ends will come out and then the middles will stay in the gaps. We need to stay in the gaps and contain them in there. Just squish them in there. Awuzie looked like he was getting ate up last game, so I'm hoping that he recovers and locks these down. And you know we got to stop Kelsey. So we got to get someone can because if he's on fire, the whole team's on fire. He's the one that lights them up. But your boy, the fastest man on earth, he's the one with the splash plays that gets the big chunks. We gotta stop those two and win in the trenches, and then we might come out with a victory and then strike fast. So these are my thoughts on the game. <laughs> I had a couple Bengals supporters send me some selfies, video selfies of the game or the thoughts on the game or while the, the reactions of the game winning kick um, or, you know, just a shout out to the Bengals or the, or the show. 
So, for other people in the future, just remember, send your videos, landscape views, just like this, to djjackson at gmail.com. Now let's get into the videos that were sent in. Who they baby? These are the reactions of the game winning kick and just some shout outs. Let's get it, let's go. That was our take on the post game of the Titans and the pre game of the Chiefs. Shout out to Flip Scripts in Cincinnati. I'm your host, DJ Jackson in Jacksonville, Florida. And I hope you can continue this grind and keep getting more wins. One more win away from the Super Bowl. Let's get it. Let's go. Hootay, baby. like to help support the show promoting local talent please cash app us at money signs jack's local radio show Duval.